and reading a lot too when I was a kid is is a large part of how I learned the language. I remember I would read books way beyond my my age bracket. Are we seriously alone on this mission? That's pretty rough because I usually use my AI as uh, bullet sponges. That's not great. Hello, C Black. Yes, thank you for the raid. Thank you, everyone who popped in. Hello, soldier. He did get a shot off. Unfortunately, I can't really see this gun when it's firing. Can't really see where I'm aiming. That's not great. And you're still alive? And we're dead. Sweet. I guess I'm supposed to use the sniper rifle, probably. So we'll do that. Unfortunately, like we've discussed before, the foliage in this game obscures your view, but not actually the enemy view. So hiding in a bush like this, it does absolutely nothing for me. So yes, you've seen me. I see that you've seen me. Okay. Getting some shots from the bridge as well. Okay. I really dislike sniper rifle. Like here, he's shooting through the bush, unfortunately. So we're going to push up. This is uh, our first mission by ourselves, and it's making me think we're going to regret playing on the hardened difficulty. Man, this gun you cannot see when you are firing. What a terrible design. <laughs> um, hmm. What am I doing? AA guns, yes. Oh, we're on a dam. It's not a bridge. Look at this. Okay. Bad water texture aside, this looks pretty cool. We're going to push down the bridge. A lot of AA guns. Boop. And uh, I guess we're not going in the bunk. Oh, someone's taking shots over here. Call of Duty teaches history. I suppose in that way that history kind of gets whitewashed by the winner. Um, you know, and it's funny. And we've talked about, I think we've talked about this before as well. But like World War II, America. So I'm an American, just for the record. Just so nobody gets all thinking I'm being super disrespectful to, you know, another country. I'm an American. We in this country have this attitude like that we did everything in World War II. And the reality is that's just not correct at all. Like, the honestly, if you were looking for a superhero of World War II, it's going to be like the Soviet Union, right? It's not going to be us. <laughs> it's not America. We just sort of swooped in at the end and uh, dropped a nuke on some folks and you know I mean I I'm not gonna try to dismiss landing on the beaches at Normandy that's obviously one of the most incredible like feats of just throwing men at a problem and, and trying to breach what were really crazy defenses it's pretty freaking crazy so I'm not trying to be dismissive of that I'm just saying like the British did a lot in World War II you know Russians essentially I mean they weren't Russians per se at the time but like you know what I mean uh, did a ton of work uh, and in fact to my understanding most of the ground that was taken in your Euro Europe was taken by the Soviets it wasn't you know America doing all the work so like I think we in America get in our heads that we're like we're the superheroes of World War II and that's just not right can I shoot the spotlight no interesting that it did go out. Is there a guy manning it? I was wondering, like, how it's pivoting and stuff on its own. There's not a dude here. Anyway, I'll blow this up. Hopefully we didn't miss any uh, AA guns. Ah! And uh, we're definitely spoon-fed that in school as well, that we were like the heroes of, of World War II. And really, we stayed out of the war way longer than we should have. We should have gone in much earlier than we did. And really, what are we celebrating? We dropped a, a nuke and killed, like, just so many civilians and had long, far-reaching consequences in Asia or in Japan and, and things. So I don't know that there's a whole lot to celebrate there. And I say that as an American who, like, I like America pretty well. I hate this Sten, though. We're going to go with the MP40. I know we're using that in basically every round, but in every game, but it just is my preferred preferred gun at this point. Ah, I'm reloading. Don't shoot me. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Pull the... Oh, there's a lever in here. My mistake. Generally, uh, bad design to have. We're dead. Literally, instantly dead. Okay, it's great. 
Um, generally bad elevator design to make the lever on the outside, so of course there's a lever inside and I'm just dumb. Take cover behind the barrel, I guess is why it's here. Hello, Germans. I'm coming to destroy your dam or something. I don't, I don't really know what... I don't know why we're here, because I don't read briefings. I just go in and kill everybody. Would you stream Half-Life? Um, I'm not a huge fan of Half-Life. I know that it's super popular, everybody loves it, whatever. I didn't grow up with it the way other people did. I wouldn't be opposed to it, because it is just... I'm so tired of just instantly getting shot when I walk around corners. It's such a bummer. And then the auto saves are terrible. Now I gotta do this again. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It is a low resource game, so it's something I would likely be able to stream without too much latency or issues or anything. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't play Half Life much growing up. We, um, I had friends who had it, and nobody would shut up about it. So I kind of learned to hate Half Life because it was so popular, and I'm like. A contrarian so whenever something's popular I tend to dislike it and when I was a kid my family did buy me blue shift which is uh, the Barney one uh, of half-life blue shift and I played that but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the games I don't know them in and out the way other people do and but yeah I wouldn't be opposed to playing half-life sometime it's just not my favorite thing in the world I really wish you all would stop shooting me the instant you see me like, obviously, I can't shoot you the instant I see you. Wish you had, like, just a fraction of a second that was supposed to emulate human behavior. Same here, I bought it last year, but I really love the game. Not knowing the game makes the game way more fun. I think for the player it does, but I think for the audience... I think people on Twitch and YouTube, they like to see games get destroyed. Like, I recently played Call of Duty, or uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and people came in on the YouTube channel and were, like, expecting me to really destroy the game because I memorized, like, all the locations and I knew where everything was, and that wasn't how it was. It was, like, a blind playthrough, more or less, for me. Not blind, but I didn't know everything the way other people do. And uh, I think people were expecting that, like, super, super awareness and familiarity, familiarity with the game. Like, uh, if I Google someone, uh, or if I uh, Twitch search for a video game, there are two reasons I do that. Number one, either I like the, the person who played it, uh, or number two, I like the game a lot and want to see someone absolutely demolish the game. So I don't know. I don't know. And we've talked about my style and stuff earlier in the stream, so I don't know if I'm necessarily the guy people would watch for that. But we could maybe play Half-Life sometime. I do own... I don't know, most of them, I guess, probably on Steam. I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked in a long time. Definitely I have Half-Life 2. Where are you? I see. Uh, let me guess, I'm gonna get reset way back. Of course. Of course I did. This game's checkpoint system is shit. I don't know if I've mentioned that 600 times or not. Yes, yes, angry German shooting, yes, I understand. Oh my god. <clears throat> Take a drink here, because I'm a little, I'm a little starting to get tilted. Let you hear me drink the water this time. I'm sure that that was exciting for everyone. You ever played Dwarf Fortress or Liberal Qui Crime Squad? We um we talk about Dwarf Fortress a fair bit. It's definitely something people have pressured kind of me to play. We might do that eventually, um, but I'm not super into it, so I don't think that it's something I would make a priority. I feel like I need to keep the scoped rifle because we're gonna ex like eventually leave. The interior of the dam and I'm probably gonna need that to make some long shots and things in fact let's save again excuse me hiccup every time I drink I get the hiccups and let's shoot through here using our rifle hopefully to keep them from getting too many shots on us while we're trying to just never mind it's a terrible sight range so we're not gonna do that okay. 
my audio just what's going on with you audio? I can't I can't hear the gunshots anymore I uh, I don't know if that's my issue okay yeah, everything is quieter all of a sudden I think my headphones are are dying this comes up every now and then okay Okay, I'm actually making progress, not dying. So let's jam into the wall and save again. So we talk about Dwarf Fortress kind of a lot. People bring it up all the time. Uh, I wish I knew why my, my sound just went so quiet. Hopefully it did not happen for you all. Hopefully you all are hearing the game same as you were before. Uh, looks okay. So I don't know why my sound is dead. Um, but people bring up Dwarf Fortress all the time. I think we'll play it eventually because it is something that people obviously have an interest in. I don't really like the game very much. Uh, I don't like... The look of it is a huge part of it. Um, part of it is just how much you have to know uh, really to succeed in that game. And I don't love learning games on camera because chat is usually... I mean, chat is okay, but the YouTube comments are not. People get really, really salty. Um, in the comments if you don't know what you're doing so I'm not thrilled about doing that uh, on camera and I don't really want to have to learn a very complicated new game <laughs> in front of other people so uh, that's part of the reason part of the reason is it's just ugly it's an ugly game that doesn't have a great tile set and uh, I'm kind of waiting for the steam release so we'll uh, we'll uh, figure that out once it gets a steam release I think it's getting so sick this game is starting to tilt me, and my stomach's acting up a little bit, so I'm getting a little, uh, a little miserable. I'm sorry, I don't want to get complaining, Internet. Um, I've been sick twice already today, by the way. Uh, like, literally ten minutes after I woke up, I immediately became sick, which is pretty unusual. Uh, and then right before I went live, I was sick again, and kind of was hoping I got it out of my system, but stomach's really starting to, to get upset here. We have such a fraction of health that literally one bullet will kill us, regardless of the gun. So we really need some health here. And we're dead. Big surprise. Liberal Crime Squad? I've never heard of that. I have no idea what that is. Um, so, no, I have not played that. Spaceship, Space Station 13. I tried playing that a couple years ago, I think, and uh, did not really enjoy the game um, it just again seemed like something you kind of need to know what you're doing and I definitely don't uh, and if I recall is that a team game or is it just every man for himself I just I don't know how to do anything and I didn't really feel like learning let me guess bunch of Germans in the elevator big surprise I don't know am I going down am I going up the marker is down, so I guess we go down. But I mean, yes, I'm going to get to the bottom, and there's going to be a room with a bunch of Germans in it. No, just one German. And some health packs, which I'm very grateful for. In fact, there's many health packs, which makes me think we're going to double back to this location. And we're supposed to save some for the trip back, would be my guess. So again, let's save, because we're making progress here, and I don't want to backtrack. Um, and that's the one that's like basically multiplayer cataclysm on a space station, right? Is one people bring up all the time. Um, but I, I don't really have an interest in playing that game personally. Um, mostly because it is other people and I don't enjoy playing with most people. Pretty much any video game that involves other people, I hate it. I hate other people. Um, I started recording last week. I recorded uh, six episodes of Rocket League. Uh, which should be going up probably next week on the channel. And uh, I hate teammates. I hate them. I hate having teammates. I hate when other people have to rely on me. I hate when I have to rely on other people. I hate when you have to... When you require other people in a cooperative effort because there are always, always people who are terrible. Like I've been watching... So Fall Guys right now is super popular, right? Fall Guys came out. It's kind of like a goofy, childish battle royale. It's very like basic games that are really simple, obviously intended for a younger audience. And I've been seeing some of my people I like on stream, they've been playing it, even though it's a game that's, you know, aimed at younger people. And it's super popular. 
but I watch this game and I watch these people play this game and all I can think is how are you not screaming in your microphone about how freaking stupid your teammates are? Like you watch them play soccer and there are teammates who hit it in their own goal and you're like, what are you doing? Why, like did you not, if you thought for a fraction of a second you would have realized what you were doing is a terrible decision, why don't you think before you act? And it would just tilt me to no end to play games with these people. It's like you see people and there's like a wall that pops up in front of them and instead of waiting a, a second for the wall to open up they just dive face first into the wall and you're like that's a, that's a person who's going to be on your team they don't even understand that you don't jump face first into walls like people drive me crazy there are too many stupid people in the world and they cannot be trusted just like rocket league i was excited to play rocket league i was like okay you know i've been really playing rocket league in my downtime the game's really enjoyable you're hitting it's it's soccer with cars, right? So it's like how it's a fun game, very viscerally satisfying. And then you get in a match and your teammate is like, I just want to touch the ball, so I'm going to hit it right in front of our own goal. And you're like, teammate, what are you doing? Like, literally, this is the exact opposite. If it's at our side of the goal, you know, on our side of the field, you don't put it right in front of the goal. But you see people do it over and over and over, and you're like, you just desperately wanted to touch the ball. Instead of thinking about your decision and making a good, like, strategic play, you instead just wanted to touch the ball and feel like you were a part of the game. Shit drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. And then I stopped recording Rocket League because I was like, I don't want the whole series to be me griping about not liking my teammates. So I don't know if I'm even going to, like, continue that series or not, but uh, team games are terrible. When you have to rely on your teammates, it's like... Just can't trust them. Plus, plus, you know, whenever you make a mistake, then you feel like you're letting your whole team down. I don't know how you could see me, asshole. So we gotta go back through here again. Um, and then you feel like you're letting your whole team down because, like, you made a mistake. Like, there are times when I'll hit it in front of the goal by accident. And then you're like, man, I complain about people who do this. So, obviously, my teammates are going to be mad at me, and then that makes me feel bad, and blah, blah, etc. You should not be able to blind fire like that, because I can't do it, so you shouldn't be allowed to do it either. And uh, we're going to save here so we don't have to clear this room for, like, the fifth time. Because, God help me, I don't want to do this again. Wait, so he doesn't like kids and other people mostly because too much stupid. Listen, man, if you don't think the world is if you don't think the average person is dumb as hell you're not paying attention like people can be really smart okay like i'm not even the smartest guy right i like to think i'm really smart i'm not i'm above average intelligence but like my brain has atrophied over the last couple of years due to lack of like being challenged and not really interacting with the world and stuff it's made me way dumber there are smart people in the world. There are even a lot of smart people in the world. But the reality is that the average person you talk to does not think before they act. And that is terrible. And it irks me to no, like, to no end. No, an average person is okay, but think about it, half are dumber than average. Okay, yes. Technically, if I'm talking about the average person, they are literally is dead in the middle because that is the definition of average but like a lot of people i interact with on a regular basis are really stupid and then when you get into video games i don't know i'm always frustrated by my teammates i'm always frustrated by my teammates i don't know um and it just seems like people are dumb like and it's it's hard with technology right because the people you interact with online <clears throat> excuse me People you interact with online are not an accurate, like, subsection of reality. So, like, I go on Twitter and literally see some of the dumbest things I've ever heard human beings say in my entire life. And it's obvious that, like, these are just really vocal people. It's not that they represent the majority. They're just stupid people on Twitter who decided to say some heinous things. And they're not representative of the average person, but it gets hard to remember that when you're online and you're constantly interacting with toxic people. 
we have a lot of toxic people who show up in our discords or whatever and they come and they just want to argue and tell you that you're wrong and then when you tell them hey you're being an asshole they're like I'm not an asshole how dare you attack me what's wrong all I did was complain for 45 minutes and tell you you're a jerk it's like yeah that's asshole it makes you an asshole like and then they play the victim and you're like is this how people are but the reality is that isn't how people are that's just the really loud subsection of the population if that makes any sense I don't know if I make any sense get up with Captain Price on the top south end of the dam and escape oh, I have to go all the way back through are you kidding me does this thing open of course not I have to go all the way back Okay. Okay. Great. This, this is great. I'm glad. I'm glad I get to go back. It's super fun. Definitely, definitely not going to hate the next 10 minutes. The last couple of missions today have not been uh, super thrilling. I'm not excited about this. And you say you're not funny. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I can be. I used to be really funny when I was a teenager, but like... I spent years not talking to people and literally like living alone in my house kind of miserable and now it's really hard for me to I'm not as witty and clever as I was when I was a teen uh, that's what I mean when I said my brain atrophied I think just years of lack of uh, stimulation has destroyed me a little bit mentally but anyway you probably didn't care about that um, ignorance is hold on ignorance is louder and less articulate I mean, yeah, that, again, I think that it's just that they're so loud. Like, I don't think, people always say, like, oh, the internet's super toxic. I don't think that's actually true. I just think that the people who are toxic are just way louder than the people who aren't. It just doesn't feel that way sometimes. It's really easy. Like, for me on YouTube, I get a lot of positive comments. A lot of people say nice things. But then every now and then I get some really heinous, terrible things that you should never say to a human being. And it's like, even though that's not the majority of what I'm experiencing, it hits you way harder as well. So if that makes any sense. If people are too defensive about their pride, they can't be reasoned with as well. I wouldn't know. I don't have, I don't have any pride. I, I completely lack pride. That's not true. I, I have a little bit of pride. Depends on what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, people on the internet as well. I do think pride and arrogance play a role. Ah. Sitting up there waiting for me. Okay. Just a whole mess of people up there waiting to kill me. That's super exciting. Yeah, like people get in their heads that they can't possibly be wrong. And so it's like there's no talking to them. There's no... Like Twitter is terrible. I got on Twitter. I don't care about Twitter at all. I only got on Twitter to... Uh, I only got on Twitter to um, advertise my streams and stuff and because all the streamers I know are on Twitter where they advertise and things so I got on Twitter and like okay so now I got to do that again so that's exciting because the game never saves where you want it to can you peek or lean yeah I can um, I just don't because I don't want to spend 25 minutes on every mission peeking around every corner uh, but like in this situation I am peeking so they just shoot me as soon as I pop around the corner. And it's like hit scan. I swear to God, every time they see me, they hit me. Last time there were three. There's only two this time. Uh, so I got on Twitter just to, uh, just to advertise. And once I got on Twitter, I noticed, hey, everybody here seems to be filled with hatred and constantly screaming about whatever they disagree with. So, like, there's a lot of politics. Okay, I don't know who shot me. It's like they're computer assisted. Yeah, almost like they're AI or something. Uh, and it's just super hateful. Oh, I did save after I killed them. So where did that shot come from? I was shot from behind before. Just instantly. Uah! I'm not angry. You're angry. I don't know where to go. Let's get behind cover. Okay, peek. I see you. Okay, let's save. I just, I'm... 
So it's all like political. Like people are like, did you know that the Democrats murder babies? And you're like, hey, that's actually, it's not, it's not true. We mean they murder babies. Nobody murders babies. They're like, oh, well, abortion this and oh, that means that they're all going to hell and, and oh, they're destroying America. And it's like, dude, can't you just be like, can't, like, literally, can't you just be like, I don't really support abortion, so, you know, the Democrats are pro-abortion, and I don't really like that, so I'm going to vote Republican. Like, can't you say that? Do you have to go on a rant about how they're murdering babies in the womb and giving dra Like, I've literally seen, they post graphic descriptions of, oh, this baby was cut out of the mother, and you're like, Jesus Christ, like, this is Twitter. Why are you on Twitter talking about child dismemberment? Like, what is wrong? If you're politi- I, I don't even know how to say what I'm saying. It just gets super frustrating. I don't even go on Twitter. I hate Twitter. I'm only there to advertise stuff for the stream. Bro, I can't even peek without them immediately shooting me. I just want to proceed. I just want this stupid godforsaken mission to be over. Save again, even though we have no freaking health. Anyone else? Please. Oh my god. Really neat. Oh, thank god he had a health kit. Let's save again since we have health now. I don't know if it's a random chance of dropping the health kit or what. But like Twitter, man. It's just people screaming at each other, telling each other they're wrong. And like literally you see that kind of argument where it's like, yeah, well you murder babies, motherfucker. Like. You should just die because you're baby murdering psychopaths and we don't, you don't belong in this country. And it's like, can't you just shut up? Like, can't you just have your own belief system and maybe don't go out of your way to verbally attack everyone around you at all times? I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. Especially because I consider myself to be a reasonable person. I like to think about my actions and decisions. Why are you even up here? There apparently is nothing over here. Um, so like I try to think and make my own coherent decisions. Oh, we went up two floors this time. Why, why did that happen? Last time it only took me up one. I am confused. Uh, so I don't really know where to go now and I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so we're up top. I don't, I don't know what's up here. It'd be great if we could find a health kit. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to ramble about Twitter. Twitter is, uh... oh my god, all the time with this death. Uh, Twitter is, uh, for sure, can be frustrating. Uh, even when I agree with people, like politically or whatever they're saying. They always say it in the most hateful, degrading way possible. It's like, these people never learned to express themselves. They never had, like, you know, kindergarten where they learned to talk to other human beings, you know? And it gets pretty frustrating. So anyway, let's not ramble about Twitter. I don't want that to be the whole whole episode. Twitter deleted it a while back. Came Next came Facebook, and life has been better, and I see productivity increase. Again, I only joined so that I could communicate with my audience. So, like, for instance, I know most of you don't follow me on Twitter, which is perfectly fine, because, again, Twitter is a cesspool. Um, but I joined Twitter so that I could communicate, like, hey, today I'm not going to be able to stream, or hey, this came up, I, I have to do this today, so that people would know, and it wouldn't just be a surprise, like, oh, like, last week, on Thursday, my internet was down at the house, so I couldn't stream, and I couldn't, I guess I couldn't post on Twitter either, now that I think about it, but, like, if I had been able to, if I had set it up on my phone, I would have posted like, hey, I'm sorry, I can't stream today. Uh, you know, I know it's a bummer for those of you who were expecting to come out to the stream. Oh my god, this fucking game. <clears throat> uh, and so that's like the point of Twitter is so that I would be able to communicate with people. Because on YouTube, the only way you can make posts is if you, obviously if you're posting a video, but also if you... <sighs> if you uh, have a thousand viewers, 
uh, subscribers on YouTube, then you can post a community post, which is kind of like, it'll pop up like a little, like almost like a tweet on your YouTube channel. I don't have that ability because I don't have a thousand subs. So for me, Twitter was the only way I could communicate with my audience to let people know what my schedule is, that kind of thing. So, I regret joining Twitter. I barely ever use it, and even when I do, I only have like five people who follow me. So even when I'm trying to communicate with my audience, I can't really do that. Um, just because my audience isn't really on Twitter, seems like. So, what are you going to do? We did manage to clear that area. The problem is I'm trying to push through because I'm sick of this freaking level. They literally, I just saved and they came walking right up to me and murdered me. Um, I just want to be done with this level. I hate backtracking and I hate that there's a whole level where I have to backtrack. So I just want to clear it. So I'm pushing through kind of fast, you know, and maybe not clearing every enemy like I should. It's just, I would say on this map alone, we've probably killed like 200 enemies. I don't know how many people they have stationed here, but like, this is a lot of dead Germans that we've cleared out. Please don't shoot me. I just want to, I just want to finish the damn level. We got to be close. It's got to be close. We're almost back up to the top of the dam. Oh my god, just like seven enemies in the freaking line. I didn't mean to ramble about Twitter. I know people aren't aren't super interested in that. Uh, start following and retweeting retweeting other streamers you like, and it will put you uh, more people around. It will put you more around the people you want. You gotta have some kind of aim assist. Problem is, I don't. I don't know. It's weird because, like, let's say so. I'm I have like I don't know twelve people on Twitter that follow me. Let's say I start retweeting Northern Lion. We talked about him earlier. I like him. And he posts, you know, I'm going live with such and such game, whatever. If I retweet, if I retweet him, it pops up in everybody's feed, right? Like, I don't want to piss off the few people that I have that actually follow me and piss them off because I'm filling their, their little inbox thing with, uh, with other streamers' tweets. Does that make sense? I don't know, I probably should do that. Worst case scenario, someone might click my name sometime and be like, Oh, I wonder who this guy is, and show up on the on the stream or something. Do do do. I don't really want to shoot, I just kind of want to leave this map and never ever come back. Would be fantastic. Great! We did it. We did it, chat.